grandpa cars. I absolutely love them. And today we have the absolute best one on the market. This right here is the Genesis G80 EV. And man, it is a wicked car to drive. Let's take a look. I think the looks of this thing are incredible. I was asked this morning at McDonald's if I was driving a Bentley and nope, just a Genesis, also a press car. <laughs> Nothing on here shows you that it's an EV except for just a little logo here. And there we have the charging port. 350 kilowatt charging, that is freaking fast. And see right here we have a little air curtain to put air around the wheel so it doesn't create too much turbulence. Overall, coefficient of drag of 0.26 is excellent. Not as low as something like the EQS, but it also doesn't look like a shoe. That earns it a range of about 450 kilometers. Really good. Here we have two headlights. It's, I thought it was kind of weird at first, but it's really grown on me. And I especially like how it goes all the way to the side with the indicators. Looks fantastic in my opinion. These aero rims are only for the EV model. Too bad, I quite like them. And I also appreciate that they're only 19 inches, which only they are still massive, but at least it isn't taking up all of this. Helps with ride comfort a bit. Also, we have some Michelin X ices on here. Not surprising, but 515 foot-pounds of torque cannot be contained by winter tires. Poor guys, they tried though. Also, I really like how the indicators go all the way along the side. Just a nice little detail. The total length of this guy is just over five meters, meaning you should legitimately make sure that it will fit in your garage before you buy it. Also, you would think with that much car, you'd be getting lots of storage. Mm, uh, let's see if it has a front. <laughs> I haven't opened this yet. I'm just assuming that there's nothing in here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that looks like an engine right there. EV, but wow, there is no extra space in here whatsoever. That's one of the many problems of this being an EV conversion. Let's look at the other ones. The 87.2 kilowatt hour battery is stored underneath the car, which means you don't get a whole lot of room in here. Uh, seats as low as it'll go. I have maybe inch and a half, two inches of space right here. I'm six feet. Also means no sunroof. That friggin' sucks. I love sunroofs, but uh, you don't get one here because otherwise your head would be, I don't know, just hitting the stuff that holds it. Also trunk space, not fantastic, especially given the size of this car. Big old hump right there where I'm presuming the high voltage electronics live. Sorry mob bosses, this is not your car. You might be able to fit a body in there. Probably not even one. Have to chop them up. <laughs> Terrible. Also, sorry Genesis Canada. Uh, the material blue of this looks fantastic. Kind of changes from green to blue depending on how you look at it. But uh, it's winter in Vancouver. We did the best we could. Hopping into the back seat. Oh, wow. I don't have nearly enough leg room here. Good thing I have controls for the passenger seat, so I can just move it up like that. Oh, there we go. Rear seats in this, very comfortable. Only small complaint. If you're a little bit taller than me, your head's going to be hitting the ceiling. I'm millimeters away. Also, very nice middle wrist rest that has our seat heating and our rear peasant blocker. Got all three of them. Wait. Oh, my God. I have to do it myself. Back seat's terrible. <laughs> Not actually, also have rear climate control. Very nice. Popping into the driver's seat, this thing is exceptionally comfortable. I absolutely love it. We have all of the controls that you expect to have. Bolster adjustment, even seat firmness adjustment. No massage seats though, so uh, that's points off for that in this price range. Oh wait, I lied. Turns out there is a button over here that allows you to do massaging stuff. Isn't in the infotainment for some reason, but whatever. Select seat, then Ergo motion seat. I think it's only for my arse. The mode cycles as follows. Pelvic stretching, lumbar stretching, whole body. Oh, that feels pretty good. One thing that I'm not sure I'm convinced of, this steering wheel looks kind of weird. Very functional though. So that's a plus. We don't have stupid capacitive buttons or anything like that. Good old roller for volume. That's sort of the whole theme of this. Everything in here just makes sense to use. It took me only like a day to get used to using this car when normally it takes me four to a week, depending on the brand. Just stuff like, oh, I want it to be warmer, turn the knob, there we go. Want to turn the fan up or down, boom, right there. Super easy. Same with all of this, it just works and it's a dedicated button for it and everything in here feels fantastic. This is the sort of thing where like the EQS was showing off all of the tech that Mercedes could shove into something. Whereas this right here is using tech in much more thoughtful ways where it actually like makes sense and you want to use it. Also the buttons don't feel like garbage. Overall, the quality of materials in here is just exceptional. The stuff that you want to be soft is nice and soft. Stuff that you want to be hard is nice and hard. And it just, well, it feels like the interior of a $100,000 car. I like it. Let's give her a drive after 
a giver in this segue to our sponsor. Grammarly. Thanks to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. When it comes to work, communication is key, even if you don't have a writing job. Miscommunication can lead to confusion with your team, which can lead to delays. That's why we are recommending checking out Grammarly's premium tone rewrite suggestions feature. It will help you by providing suggestions to ensure your writing comes across clearly and confidently. Grammarly helps the business team stay confident with their writing to keep it professional and mistake free. To get started, all you have to do is install the desktop app, log in and start typing. Work smarter, not harder, just the right tone can move a project forward. Go to grammarly.com slash short circuit to sign up for an account. And if you'd like to enhance your writing and tone, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. <laughs> yep, that's, a, that's some tire spinning right there. Zero to 60 in just under five seconds. This thing's pretty rapid, although not in an insane way like a lot of cars are. Like it's very subdued in its tuning. <laughs> now it is electric motors, so you have the problem where like, once you're above 100 kilometers per hour or so, it is sort of running out of gas and something much less powerful that's gas is going to be able to blast past you. But you're already speeding then anyway, so unless you're on the Autobahn, who cares? Most of your time I imagine will be spent in comfort mode and man, it is comfortable in here. They have active noise cancellation from the speakers, which makes this one of the quietest cars that I've ever been in. This is apparently one decibel louder on the highway than a Mercedes S-Class Maybach. <laughs> Hot damn. Now the suspension isn't perfect. In sport mode, it's not really sporty. It's kind of wallowy and it's a bit reboundy, which I've found is sort of a theme in Hyundai cars. It also isn't perfect at filtering out bumps. Like when you're at lower speeds, it tends to get a little bit rough just because there's so much weight in this thing. But overall, especially for an electric car, man, this drives nice. It's the sort of thing where you're able to just, I don't know, sit back let it take you along, it's pretty great. What makes that comfortable go from A to B experience even better is the driving assists. Lane centering this, fantastic. I'm just gonna let her do this turn here and I trust it for the most part. Also, adaptive cruise, fantastic. Some of the best that I've ever experienced. What makes this all even better and more relaxing is the Lexicon sound system. It is, it's a bit complicated, but in a word, it is fantastic. It's pretty clear this is a car made for old people, and that particularly shows with the sound system and how it's tuned. The highs in this, much brighter than it should be if it's to just be flat. Bass, not quite where it should be. Our sound engineer, Sam, took this and he found that plus three, plus four in the bass, minus seven in the treble is what got us the most accurate to what we're looking for in a car. Even though there are 21 speakers in here, I was a little bit concerned at first because like the tweeters aim down, the mids are going into my leg, the mid bass is down there, sub, I don't know where that is, somewhere back there. But somehow it becomes all coherent. At lower volumes, the sound stage is sort of down here, but you turn it up a bit and it starts surrounding you. It's fantastic. It's not the best sound system that I've ever heard, like S90 absolutely thrashes it. EQS doesn't quite have the extension, but much better soundstage. But then again, apparently they only make the sound system for this car and the Rolls Royce Phantom. So yeah, it's pretty freaking good. Now one thing you might have noticed is that the infotainment's pretty far away. So if I wanna, uh, all the way over there, not the best, except they have this little dial down here and it actually works really well. So you have physical buttons for home, menu, and back. And then this sort of, even in Android Auto works quite well, but in Genesis's system here works fantastic. I've just been using this dial for everything instead of using the touchscreen, and I actually have liked it way more than I expected. Okay, we've got some corners here. How does it handle? Uh, uh. Pretty freaking good given the size of this thing, especially given that we're on winter tires here, but it's not a sports car by any stretch of the imagination. So you do have the problems of like some understeer. It kind of feels like it's leaning over the front left tire, which isn't great, but at the same time, it does all of the handling in a way that, you know, even if it isn't the most dynamic ever, it makes me just want to chill out. 
this is probably the car that I have been thrashing the least of all of the press cars that I have. Like, I've been respecting this thing because it wants me to do that. And that's a pretty tall ask when you have a press car for a week. Now, some nitpicks. We have flappy paddles here to change how much regen you're getting, and uh, just leave it on level two. All of the rest are bad. So we don't have a true one pedal mode, which... And also, if you put it to like level one of regen, it feels kind of weird. Level three, level four, pretty terrible. You don't have proper like auto hold or proper one pedal driving. So it's sort of like is decelerating you and then right before you stop, it starts accelerating. It's weird, I don't know, just live with level two, you'll be happy. Also auto hold, pretty bad. I just turned it off and then I was happy. So whatever, oh well. Traction control off, corner. <laughs> These poor tires. Given the uh, yacht-like length of this car, you might expect it to be terrible to park, but with the rear wheel steering and the excellent 360 cam, this thing's actually very simple to get into a tight spot. Can you come a bit closer to the rear of the car? What am I doing back here? Uh, we wanted you in front of the car, actually. I just meant to say the rear of the truck. So the Genesis G80 EV. This thing right here is $104,000 Canadian, which is pretty steep, but when you compare it to the competition, it is very good. Compared to the EQS, this thing absolutely slaughters it. But then again, like some Heelys and a pack of Red Bull slaughters the EQS. So, uh, I don't know, not too many points there, Genesis. But man, this right here, as far as a car to just comfortably get from point A to point B is absolutely fantastic. This is where EVs really and truly shine. Just comfortable grand tours to get you to work and back from work quietly and man i really like this car if you're an older dad or a grandpa man look into this thing if you've got the cash because it is freaking worth it in my opinion and do you know what's also worth it hitting like getting subscribed and just having a fantastic day see you later